I'm so thankful to see how far medicine has come. It is an exciting time, but the transplant community really needs new innovations and improvement in long-term care. And that's why I feel so honored today to be here at this brand new state-of-the-art CLIA certified clinical laboratory. Dr. Mark Rumpler will be giving me a tour today. Our transplant diagnostic laboratory provides cutting edge laboratory services to clinicians and their patients. We offer the precise analysis of biomarkers that look at acute rejection after organ donation. One of the things that sets this laboratory apart is that we offer a suite of services that serves the end-to-end -end diagnostic strategy, the long-term success of an organ transplantation. So this is our exosome laboratory. This is where we perform a novel diagnostic based off non-invasive collection technique. It's a urine test. This is a urine-based assay where we first purify the exosomes from the urine sample and then extract the mRNA from the exosomes. We then perform a PCR-based reaction and then we look at a specific gene signature that's personalized to that patient that then evaluates their risk for subacute rejection. And that's amazing. That will change care for patients to have early detection, be proactive in care, hopefully catch rejection early enough that it can be turned around. Yes, it absolutely will. What it will also do is it will inform better clinical decision making. Quality is fundamental to our mission here at the laboratory to sustain that circle of trust with physician and with the transplant community. While I am here today, I have the opportunity to speak to Dr. Ozzy, who created the technology incorporated in the urine-based assay. I, I felt when I started my training in transplant that we live in a stone age era, dealing with all these imperfect tools. So all the time this question in my mind, how can we develop a test that can help us tailor immunosuppressant and how to monitor the, the, the organ closely? And this is how it started. As a patient, it's really important to us to stay as healthy as possible and out of the hospital and less tests and invasive things that we have to go through. And I'd love to hear how the urine-based assay is helping to do that. No, absolutely. I think, you know, this journey, it's a really a partnership between uh, patients and, and clinicians. It's funny that, you know, sometimes we think that only the, the patients are anxious. I think physicians and clinicians are also anxious when they deal with imperfect tools. But now the availability of doing it through a urine test with the opportunity to provide this urine uh, specimen at home and get delivered to a, a central lab. The urine test can save up to 40% of the biopsies now done, which is, I think, major. And I can tell you that already, some of the targets we identified from the urine test, we in fact went back to the animals and we deleted those targets in the animal. And we're getting indefinite allograft survival in, in mice models, which telling us that those are, are pathways that could be used in the future for developing new therapies. Here at the lab, I was introduced to another double organ transplant recipient, Galen Miller. So I had my first transplant in 2001 and I pretty much did everything I used to do. I worked, I would travel. However, that kind of didn't last long because after three years, the transplant failed. And so then I did 13 years of dialysis. Wow. Um, and thankfully, after 13 years, I got a second transplant. Amazing. Yeah. And so I can definitely see the potential of having a urinary test. Um, and you can just do it from home. That would be great too. Um, I think convenience is key. You know, it's rapid turnaround. You know, with a biopsy, it takes a couple days. Um, anything that's rapid, you know, where you can get your hands on it right away, uh, just helps provide peace of mind. Um, and maybe you can even have, you know, a bigger impact on long longevity of the kidney. Um, so I'm super happy that a test like this is coming out. For my last conversation today, I have the opportunity to speak to Chris McCloskey about what's on the horizon. Can I be as bold to ask if we're headed to a future that you think someone will receive a transplant and be able to have that same transplant the rest of their life? So I would say our mission is to have one transplant for life. But I think the need that we need better immunosuppression tools is clear. I think we see our partners in the pharmaceutical space starting to make some of those investments. And we really wanna be on the forefront of helping them understand these different immune pathways that can enable them to optimize the development of these drugs. Again, to reduce the toxic impact on patients and extend the survival of the graft so that we can hopefully achieve one graft for life. 